Everyone likes heroes, right? Books, films and computer games are mostly always about positive characters or protagonists. Do you agree with the opinion that villains or antagonists are far more interesting than the good guys? Hi, I'm Tom with you and today we'll learn how to describe character traits. We will talk about positive and negative character traits of the most popular movie heroes and the most miserable movie villains. There are many aspects of this issue. Let's read the comments to a post why some people find villains more attractive than heroes. After that, try to think about your opinion. Do you agree with them? Stop the video and read out each comment. Pay attention to the words in bold. They are more complex. I'm tired of a fair and all-around good guy who is ready to self-sacrifice and have adventures. How can anyone be that perfect? Such heroes are often lacking natural feelings and emotions like envy, rage, extreme self-admiration or self-pity. On the other hand, antagonists have a whole combination of complex feelings caused by previous traumas or life conditions. A good written villain can be attractive, vulnerable, willing and interesting too. My favorite villains have interesting backstories as to why they are evil and it's so much more interesting to watch the decisions they make because of it. The outfits are better. In films and cartoons, one of the easiest ways to differentiate a hero from a villain is their outfits, which often make them the center of attention. Let's think about cosplayers, comic cons and Halloween parties. How many people have you seen dressed in a basic Disney princess or a Superman costume? There are more supervillains like Dracula, Darth Vader, Lord Voldemort and Maleficent. The fashion choices of such villains are far better and if someone asks me, what fictional character has a perfect style? Unfortunately, my response wouldn't include heroes as in general, for me, they are often too self-colored and ordinary. They have more freedom. Antagonists can do much more than heroes. It's fascinating, and I bet that a lot of us have wanted to do something forbidden, wrong and selfish, because these things are easy. People often feel that being good can bring almost no effect while bad deeds are very noticeable. Villains are free from rules and regulations and the judgment of society. At least it seems so from films and books. A better villain, a better hero. Great heroes need great villains. Who is Harry Potter without Draco Malfoy and Voldemort? What would Superman do without any criminals? A hero only appears as heroic as the challenge he or she must overcome. Authors create supervillains as a response to important issues a main hero must overcome. But anyway, any book or movie begins and ends with the heroes. I suppose it's not okay to romanticize villains too much. Did you get the meaning of all the words in bold? Let's check. Pause the video and find the word based on its description. Now let's check your answers. 1. Free from dishonesty or injustice. Fair. 2. Sacrifice of one's interest for the good of another. Self-sacrifice. 3. The feeling that you wish you had something that someone else has. Envy. 
for a period of extreme or violent anger. Rage. Five, able to be easily, physically, emotionally or mentally hurt. Vulnerable. So, do you think villains shouldn't be ordinary? And what are the main reasons, according to the author, why they might be better than heroes? Let's answer together, pause the video, read the sentences and check the correct answer. Now, let's check. 1. Heroes are often lacking pretty natural B. Feelings and emotions like envy, rage, extreme self-admiration, self-pity and bitterness. 2. My favourite villains have an interesting C. Backstory as to why they are evil. 3. In cartoons, color is the one of the easiest ways to B. Differentiate a hero from a villain. 4. Villains' outfits are often of vivid or dark colors, while heroes are often too A. Self-covered and ordinary. 5. People often feel that being good can bring almost no effect while D. Bad deeds are very noticeable. Great job! And what is your opinion about villains and heroes? Do you agree with these thoughts? Have you really noticed that some villains move on a good side in the end of the film? They become fair and ready to self-sacrifice. Personally, I admire it the most. Despite the fact that villains seem to be brighter characters, in real life, it doesn't really work. So, we finish our lesson. Today, we've learned some new vocabulary how to describe character traits. And you will easily describe any personality. Great job! See you next time!